Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 max chapter 6 introduction of junk cellar. I will be discussing the textbook solution in the next video. In this chapter, we are going to see the concept of loan, multiplication of two digit and three digit numbers in two different methods, conversion of money from rupees to pies and pies to rupees, addition and subtraction of money, then profit or loss. I am going to just discuss you all the concept of these. We will be discussing the textbook solution in the next video. First one, what is loan? A loan is a type of debt. It is nothing but the amount of money that you buy or get from a friend, bank or any financial institution in exchange for future repayment. You have to repay the amount that you get. So that is the concept of loan. So here the important components or terms of a loan are principal, interest. The main um, def, uh, terms are principal and interest. What is principal? Principal is the amount that you borrow. And what is interest? Interest is the amount that is charged for receiving the loan. And what is installment? You can either repay the money in terms of monthly payment or term payment towards the loan. So that is installment. The interest can be varied like simple interest, compound interest. I am going to just explain you the simple interest in this. There are different types of loans available. They are secured loans, unsecured loans, personal loans, home loans, auto loans, credit card loans, business loans. There are so many loans available. You just know that there are different types of loans available. Next, we are going to see one simple example of loan. Ram wants to borrow rupees 10,000 from a bank. The local bank says he needs to pay 10% interest. Already we saw what is principal and what is interest. Here, principal amount is rupees 10,000. The interest is 10%. So, what will be the interest in rupees is rupees 10,000 into 10%. So, you will be getting rupees 1000. So, Ram should pay 10,000 plus 1000. So, he needs to pay rupees 11,000 to the bank. Next, we are going to see multiplication facts. See the first example. When you multiply a number with 1, you will be getting the same number. Example, 5 into 1 or 1 into 5 equal to 5. Next, whenever you multiply a number with 0, you will be getting the answer as 0. That is 0 into 5 or 5 into 0 is 0. Next, when you multiply a number with 10, 100, thousands, 10,000, you will be getting the answer as number and how many ever zeros you have in the multiplicand. See here, you have one zeros here. So, in the answer also, you will be getting one zero. So, this is easy, isn't it? We will see another example. 9 into 1000. The answer is 9000. You should be very careful whether you have any number here or not. Since it is just 1000, I have directly multiplied. If it is 2000, you have to multiply this and then add the zeros at the end. Next, irrespective of order of multiplication, you will be getting the product. See, 2 into 5 or 5 into 2 equal to 10. See here, 2 into 3 into 4 equal to 4 into 3 into 2. So, whatever order you multiply, you will be getting the same answer. 
Next, multiplication methods. First one we are going to see column method. See here, I have splitted this 26 as 20 and 6, 15 as 10 and 5. Next you have to multiply 10 and 20 and I have written the answer as 200. 10 into 6 is 60. Next 5 into 20 is 100. 5 into 6 is 30. Then you have to add all the product. 200 plus 60 plus 100 plus 30. The answer is 390. So the multiplication answer for this is 390. Next we are going to see traditional method. See here 46 into 12. First you have to multiply with so this is 1s and 10s. First you have to multiply with 1s. So 46 into 2. First 2 into 6 you will be getting 12. 2 into 6 you will be getting 12. 2 here and 1 on top. 2 into 4 is 8. When you add the 1 you will be getting 9. Next 1 into 46 is 46. Next you have to add you will be getting 542 as the answer. Next the same traditional method I have given 3 digit multiplication you just try. First you have to multiply with 5 and then you have to multiply with 4. Then you have to add the answers. So you will be getting 23,220 as the answer for this. I have just explained. You just try it in your notebook and check whether you are getting correct answer or not. Next. Conversion. Next we are going to see conversion of money. How to convert rupees into pies and pies into rupees. See we know that 1 rupee equal to 100 pies, 2 rupee equal to 200 pies, 15 rupees equal to 1500 pies. Here I have given one example where you are going to convert rupees 53.50 into pies. So to convert that you have to change this 53 rupees to pies. So to convert that you have to multiply with 100. So 53 into 100 equal to rupees 5300 already you have 50 pies here you are going to add this 50 pies so you will be getting 5350 pies when you convert rupees 53.50 next we are going to see how to convert pies into rupees we already know 100 pies equal to 1 rupee 200 pies equal to 2 rupees so 1500 pies you have to divide by 100. So 15,500 uh, divided by 100 you will be getting rupees 15. Next we are going to see how to convert pies into rupees. I have given the example as 7,350 pies. We know that 100 pies equal to 1 rupee. So 7350 pies equal to 7350 divided by 100. So when you divide by 100, so one simple uh, way of dividing by 100, 10, 1000 is you have to see the number of zeros in the dividend. See here you have two zeros so you have to keep the decimal point from the left side two digit from the left side. See here here it is 100 is it? So you have to keep the decimal point two digit from the left side. So 1 2. So when you divide 7350 by 100 you will be getting 
73.50 or you can try traditional division method and find the answer so the answer is 73 rupees and 50 pais so this is the answer when you convert 7350 pais into rupees next we are going to see addition of money Whenever you add or subtract the money, you have to separately write rupees and pais. See here, I have given one example, 65 rupees, 50 pais with rupees 25, rupees 50 pais. For that, you have to separately write rupees and pais. Then you have to add. See here, 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 5 is 10 here 0 and here on the top you have to place 1 so 1 plus 5 plus 5 is 11 1 here and another 1 on the top so 1 plus 6 plus 2 is 9 so the answer is 91 when you add these two numbers Next, we are going to see subtraction. Similarly, the subtraction also, you have to place the rupees and pies separately. So, here 65 rupees, 50 pies, 25 rupees, 50 pies. When you subtract, you will be getting 40. See, 50, my, 50 pies minus 50 pies is 0, 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. 6 minus 2 is 4. So, the answer is 40. 40 rupees whenever you add or subtract make sure you write the unit whether it is pies or rupees correctly next we are going to see profit or loss so here you have to know about cost price selling price suppose you are getting any product or article the price at which any product is purchased is called as its cost price the price at which it is sold is called as the selling price. So what is profit? If selling price is greater than the cost price, you will be getting profit. What is loss then? If cost price is greater than selling price, you will be getting loss. See here, I have given one example. I am buying a pen for rupees 15 that is the cost price of the pen next i'm going to sell the same pen for rupees 20 so when you subtract this selling price and cost price you will be getting rupees 5 as profit so this is the profit when you buy a pen for 15 rupees and when you sell the same pen for rupees 20 Next, we are going to see what is loss. I am going to buy the same pen for rupees 15 and I am going to sell the pen 2 rupees less than the cost price that is rupees 13. So here I am getting loss because cost price is greater than the selling price. So rupees 15. 15 minus 13 is rupees 2 is the loss when you buy a pen for rupees 15 and when you sell the same pen for rupees 13. So hope I covered all the concept for this chapter 6 junk cell seller. We'll be discussing the textbook solution in the next video. Hope this video is useful. Thanks for watching.